propose we start with the basics. Let's go to the computer and connect Google Calendar and Evernote. Okay, this is the Google Calendar we'll be using on this video. And here's Evernote. Click on Customize. Drag the calendar widget anywhere on Home. Let's click Done here and finish the connection. Continue with Google. Just click here, follow the steps, and now choose the calendars you want to see on the widget. I'm going to choose only this one. You can choose others in the future or remove the ones you don't want. I'm going to stick with this one here. From now on, every time you create a new entry on your Google Calendar, you see the same entry on your Evernote Calendar. So let's create testing one, two, three. It doesn't happen at the same time, but in a couple of moments, you get your entry on the Evernote calendar. I have an entire video here on the channel about the Evernote calendar. I encourage you to watch it. For now, let's stick to sticking a note to an entry. <laughs> All you have to do to create a new note is click here and Evernote will create a new note linked to that calendar entry. And yes, of course, you can connect a note you already have to an entry. So let's do this. Insert calendar event. Let's choose the same one. And this is a good opportunity to show you that we can have multiple notes connected to the same calendar entry. Here it is. You can see that the icon has changed to a multiple note icon. Click in here. You can select the note you want. And now that we are on the same page, let's explore some use cases. I always tell my student to change two configurations on the calendar widget. Let's customize it, set it to the maximum, the large size, and move it to the top to be the first thing you see when you arrive on home. The large size is the only one that has the month view and it's easier to jump from one day to the other. Let's go to the notes view here for a moment so I can show you this. If you want to check any appointment, just click home and you have the next appointment right in front of you and you can select the note connected to that appointment. Or you can use option command one on a Mac, or you can use Control Alt 1 on Windows. Thank you, Eric, for that one. Meetings are the first thing that always comes to my mind when I'm talking about Evernote Calendar, because we will either create an entry for an upcoming meeting, or we will accept an invitation. And in both cases, the meeting entry will be on the calendar. And when I say meeting, I'm not talking only about business meetings. Every time we sit down to discuss anything with anyone, there are so many ways Evernote can help us here. For example, I try to always prepare myself for upcoming meetings. So let's say I have a new meeting. Let's go to the notebook, consulting, create a new note for a, an upcoming meeting. Choose one of my templates if that's the case. Then I'll write down anything I want to remember, questions I want to ask, and so on. Finally, I'll link that note to the meeting. Let's pretend the meeting is tomorrow. And let's say there's a note in my knowledge base notebook or anywhere in Evernote that it's important for this meeting. Let's go to that notebook. Here it is, the elephant note, insert, calendar event, same event tomorrow. Okay, let's pretend today's tomorrow. We have here the meeting, meeting with Mr. Elephant. Clicking here, we have the two notes. I'll select the meeting note. I always open the note in a new window. This will help me because first the note is in evidence and also I can check anything else in Evernote. I have access to the two windows. For example, I can go back to home, the meeting, and choose the other note. Now I have both notes with me. I can take notes and also check any information I need from that 
other node. By the way, I wish we had a shortcut to this open and new node window option. I have already asked for this on the Evernote official forum. And if it's something you also wish to have, please upvote my request. You find the link in the description below. Let's go back to the calendar for a moment. Let's say I have the first session with Mr. Elephant today. The next one next week and the uh, the week the uh, let's put it here usually i schedule all the future meetings at the first session and what i do i just go here and calendar select this one and then the next one and finally the last one Sometimes it doesn't happen like this. I have to schedule the next meeting when I finish the current meeting, but that's okay. It will also work. I just finished the meeting, check the dates and add the next session here. And when the time comes for that meeting, the dynamic is the same. I have here the calendar entry for that next session. All I have to do is click here and get to the note. It ends up looking something like this. This. So I have my notes here, tasks and everything below that timeline entry that also works as a header for that day. Can you see a pattern emerging here? If you internalize that HUM is this dashboard, this control panel, the calendar widget is just one of many widgets that can help you do more with your notes. And by the way, if you want to keep learning how to be more productive, subscribe to the channel. Here's another thing you can do with the calendar widget. I'll show you an example of my scheduling, the, the publication of the videos here for the channel, but it will work with any routine, for example, classes. First, we need a recurring appointment. In my case, I have here publish weekly video every Saturday. And when I decide this is the next video that I'll be publishing, let's say next Saturday, I can come here and I can select the appointment here. The note is now connected to the video. When the time comes and I publish the video, I'll add it here. This of course will help me organize my future publications, but let me show you another thing here. Let's go to one of the recurring events. Click on the event, not on the icon. Find related notes. Now I have here all the notes related to that recurring appointment. In this case, publish the weekly video. Anything date related will work very well with the Evernote calendar. For example, for my shot, my vaccine appointment, uh, I had that on my calendar. We have a certificate, but at that moment, they gave us a little receipt, a, a paper with some information. And all I did was open Evernote on my phone. I clicked the calendar entry to create a new note and I took a picture of that. Hours later, when I got the certificate, I also dragged it to that note. I never needed this connection for anything, but it felt like the right thing to do. And I was going to take a picture anyway. And here's another date related situation. For example, let's first use the filter and select contains calendar events. So all these notes here, they, they contain calendar events. Everyone that I click here will have a, a calendar event. And if you watched my video about my travel itinerary, you remember that I had the Airbnb information and a calendar event. Of course, this is a test account. I won't have all the notes here, but, but let's try it. Let's use Airbnb. And here we go. Now I have a note that has the word Airbnb and a calendar event. There's a lot we can do combining search filters and the calendar. To learn more about search, I invite you to watch this first video about the advanced search syntax. And if you want to keep learning, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.